Hi, I'm Bernie Slavin and you're watching Butler Sports TV. Butler and this is Butler Sports TV. Today we're bringing you exclusive coverage from the Wearside League. It's the match between Wolverston and Halden Colliery Welfare. This match is part of the FA's Football Remembers Initiative which is to commemorate the centenary of that famous World War I match between British and German soldiers. Stay tuned for match coverage to follow. Host Wolverson start the day with just two wins and ten points from their 17 games and they sit bottom of the table. They're actually without a win in their last eight matches so they'll be hoping for an upturn in fortunes today. Halden on the other hand sit in second place uh, and last week's defeat at Sunderland West End was their first in five games as they look to um, get promoted back to the Northern League. So this is the Wearside match between Wolverston and Halden Colliery Welfare from Metcalf Park. Stay tuned for highlights to follow. Come on! 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 Come on!
So you got the points there, but you made our work of it again. The gear, no, I mean, we're missing about 14 or 15 out of our out of our regular players today, um, particularly in the middle of the park, so a lot of it was square pegs, round holes. We've had full backs playing in there, and to be fair, the lads have done a great job. They've worked hard, and that was what it was all about. We knew if we worked hard, we would we would get the three points. Um, regardless of who was missing, we knew we had quality in the side, so it was just all about putting a shift in for us today, and not so much quality of football.
I mean, you got an early goal, didn't you? And it looked like you might go on and sort of dominate the game, but it didn't quite work like that, did it? No, it didn't. We didn't really settle for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then um, we just made a tactical change. We moved Hocker out wide and uh, put uh, John Boys in the middle of the park to kind of nullify the, the threat of their number 10. Um, once we'd done that, it, we, I don't think they were a threat. I think they got back to ones apiece. Then we changed it round and then we kind of took over from there. And we looked comfortable without playing great. I mean, they had a goal disallowed at 1-1, didn't they, just before you got your second? And that seemed to make the change the game. Ah, it was... It was um, to be fair, it was it was unfortunate for the lad who hit the strike. It was a great strike, but like you say, the centre forward should have just used his loaf and stood where he was because he's ran across the line of our keeper and like you say, he's, he's put his dive off and then obviously he's, he's become active and and the line has put his flag straight up. So I mean, a great decision by the referee for me. I well, think so once you got the second goal just before half time, there you seemed to be in control in the second half, didn't you? Really? Aye, we did. Second half, we we didn't really have to put our foot on the gas. Um, we killed the game off with Dan Turner's goal. Um, but like I say, now that uh, Chris Tarn's back fit, getting the second goal for us, that's what he does. He kind of picks up the picks up the bits, feeds off the scraps, and uh, does a really good job for us. So you must just be pleased to have got the points in today. Oh, I'm over the moon. Uh, he keeps us in second place coming up to Christmas. We don't know if we're going to have games off on that. Sorry, just one of the lads is being daft along there. Um, no, we don't know if we're going to have games off or anything like that, but like you say, it keeps us in second, keeps us in that promotion hunt. And all we've got to do, like we say every week, is just keep racking up the wins. We had a setback last uh, last week against the West End, so it was good to get back on the winning trail. Cheers, Ricky. Thanks, mate. So, yeah. So, a 3 1 defeat there, but you must have felt you played quite well. Well, we did in, in, in patches. It's the story of our season, really, for the last four or five games in particular, where we've, silly mistakes have cost us big. Um, and I don't think there was any difference between the two sides. And in fact, we probably used the ball uh, better than they did at times. But that's why they're second in the table and we're where we are. We make silly mistakes at times. I mean, uh, you had a goal disallowed at 1-1, and that seemed to maybe change the game a little bit, didn't it, at that point? It was certainly a turning point. I think it was the right decision. I was centre forward to recover, and uh, he was definitely offside, and he was definitely in the keeper's eye line, so I've got no issue with that. Um, the only thing I have got issue with in the game is their striker kicking out at our midfielder, um, which wanted a talking to, and I think consistency from referees. We've had two or three red cards for similar kind of instances, and um, that might have been a turning point, but yeah, at the end of the day, we, we haven't done enough. I mean, in the second half, you seem to have quite a lot on the ball and a lot of pressure, but you didn't really create an awful lot of chances, did you, really? No, I mean, our end product's um, one of the things we're working on. Um, we don't put enough balls into the danger area, crosses and things, and we don't take enough shots. Um, and if we don't buy a ticket, we can't buy it, we can't win the raffle, you know, so um, it's something we're working on. You know, points are what we need. Performances for, for 70 minutes of the games doesn't really do anything for us, doesn't give us any points. Um, we're not too far away. Um, I think anybody who watches us play know we're a decent football side, but we just need that little bit of a cutting edge. I mean, you certainly wouldn't have known today that one team was at the top and one team was at the bottom of the league, really. There was, no, like, there was not much to choose, was there, between you guys? No, um, exactly, and it's been the case for us. We've, we've played well in, in, in a lot of parts of the game, but um, crucial moments and decisions from individuals are costing us daily at the minute, and we're not capitalising on other teams' mistakes either, which, um, you know, that combination doesn't, doesn't get results very often. So if you keep playing like you have done today, then I'm sure the results will soon turn for you. Well, we hope so. Um, we've got another chance against Jawa in the Cup next week, so that's a chance for us to go um, and maybe get a little bit closer to some silverware. Um, hopefully, our luck will turn. Well, uh, Cheers. Cheers. Thank Thanks you.